What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Do you believe in the power of crowds or the power of crowd thinking, where a bunch of people come together and they think about something all together, which makes it more likely to be accurate? Well, in this review, I'm going to tell you all about how that's a real thing and how you can sign up and get the spoon fed to you by a site called Whisper Reactors. I joined Whisper Reactors last year and I've been so impressed with the results. So let me start with saying who founded this. So this guy was founded. This uh, com company was founded by John Scher, this guy. He's a really well-known and respected um, analyst, basically, and he contributes to all these big journals like the Wall Street Journal and Barnes and all this sort of stuff. So Whisper Numbers is a concept that he never came up with, but his main site, whispernumber.com, is one of the most, like, the go-to site for these Whisper Number uh, reaction things. So let me show you roughly what the Whisper Number is about. So if you go to the Investopedia page here, you can learn more about it. It's basically the unofficial group thinking. So by a bunch of traders rather than um, hedge fund, like, you know, these people with the, the, the do like the analyst stuff where they can say, OK, we think they're going to report, you know, a company's going to report such and such in earnings. So the problem with the conventional listening to analysts thing is they nearly always have an agenda, right? They're nearly always too worried that they're going to stand out from the rest of the analysts by giving an inaccurate report. So if they say we think it's going to beat by 0.1 and it actually beats by 0.5, but everybody else said it was going to beat by 0.5, then that's a problem for them, right? They stand out and their career can actually be on the line if they do that too often. That's why it's hard to really focus on analysts as the main guidance source for when companies report earnings. So these guys try and predict what the, the earnings will be, and often they're significantly different. So the whisper number is basically a gauge of that by a whole bunch of people who know what they're talking about. But it can be things like social media. In this case, whispernumber.com actually has all this data. So they're basically an analytics company that then issues alerts. So it's a pretty interesting concept compared to the usual uh, alert service, right? So if you look more at the whisper number, you can read about it here. There is a thing that happens when the whisper number and the analysts are close, but not quite exactly the same. So you can have people buying in on the whisper number. So imagine on social media, the, the word on the street is that a company is going to beat by 10 cents. And it's the analysts are saying, well, it's only going to be by five cents. Well, people will buy into the stock before earnings in the hope that it beats the earnings. And the stock has been shown statistically to react a certain way. And that's what whispernumber.com actually capitalizes on. So let me give you an example. So I think they have one on here. And then I'll show you a trade that I did recently. So let's just look down here. So maybe it's on here. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. Let me see. Here we go. So here's an example. So imagine that the earnings for forecast for Apple uh, was going to be $5 per share. But the whisper on the street the real traders actually think it's going to be nearer to six dollars per share and what happens then is the price gets pushed up as people eagerly buy in before the before the earnings report in the hope that the analysts are wrong and that the stock jumps up in price the next day after earnings so if the stock or apple in this case comes out at six dollars eps the stock can either go up or down right but, because it's like on expectations, but if the earnings come out above the whisper number, so at $7, everyone's surprised so the stock jumps higher. If it comes out at $5 below the whisper, so everybody's expecting it to come out at $6 and it comes out at 5 the stock will sell off because all the people that were in the stock thinking it was going to be 6 will freak out and cause a massive decline in the price. So it's not the only thing that matters, but it's a really, really statistically solid way of trying to predict what the stock will do after earnings. And that's what these guys, whispernumber.com, capitalize on. 
Um, I took a couple of their trades last year to see just how good this is. So let me go through my review a little bit for you and we can just sort of check it out. So, so like I said, this has been around for a while. John Sher founded this in 1998. I really like this wisdom of crowds idea where you take the, it's like an average of all the different people's ideas and opinions to get a statistically significant result. So if we go down here, this it's a very simple concept, right? I mean, you just, you have this whisper number and if it beats it, then it does such and such. And if it doesn't beat it, then you get a different price action. So let's use HAL as an example. So last year, when I was a member of this service, the issued this alert. So by the way, these things come out pre-market. So you can make the decision at the open um, on what you want to do on this information. So, so this was a one day momentum reactor. So the reason they come out with these different things is sometimes these are long-term holds and sometimes they're day trades. So it's all data driven, which is really cool. If you look at this, they've analyzed everything. So they've said that if, if the number beats the whisper number, then statistically, it's really, really likely the stock will move at least 1% in the space of that day after the earnings. So this is really data driven. That's what I really like about this is it's not just speculation. It's proper, proper analysis. So anyway, in the case of Halliburton, they reported earnings uh, before the market opened. So this came out pre-market of 11 cents. So this was three cents ahead of the analyst es estimates and two cents ahead of the whisper number. So in this case, the whisper number and the analyst were fairly close, although <clears throat> the whisper number was actually a little bit closer to the, the actual reported number. So, so based on that, what they do is they say, well, if, if it's likely to move 1.3%, let's buy options at the open and exit before the end of the day. So that's what they did. And I didn't quite do that. I don't remember. Let's have a look. So as the stock opened, so this is the, the day here, it did shoot up way up here. Uh, it closed back down at lows. So I guess that was, you know, the whole point of it being a day trade. And I actually scalped it at the open. So I bought the stock and I got in and out pretty quickly and made the, I think, about two percent profit so not exactly like a huge win but very reliable so the cool thing is like a lot of their stuff is swing trades as well so here you can see that this actually did continue up because it beat the the earnings uh, prediction and it went up 10 percent in just four days so that's pretty pretty cool like they could be this reliable now they weren't alerting this for a swing trade but it's interesting to go back and uh, you know analyze these things and if you look at the chart from Hal, so this was back when the whisper numbers came out with the earnings. Look how much it's gone up. It's doubled um, till about now. So I thought that was really cool. So whisper numbers is a pretty awesome service. Let me just double check to make sure there's nothing else to say here. I guess I mentioned all that. So here's the prices, right? So the prices are pretty reasonable, 100 bucks um, a month. You have to buy a quarterly subscription, but you get it for $200 for three months. So pretty cheap, right? I mean, that's not bad at all, especially how reliable and how database this, this service is. So they also have these longer plans, six months and 12 months. And this is what you kind of get. So you get email alerts pre-market, usually when a, well, always when a, when a stock is reporting earnings pre-market, they'll tell you what they're thinking, what the data says, and what they're going to do. So there's also a calendar they provide because like, so you can kind of plan ahead. You can see when alerts are probably going to come out. They give the usual entry and exit dates, also the price points and percentages and a little bit of the thought behind it. And they give you all the historical data to back all these things up. So, so yeah, it's a pretty good service for the price. I think you can usually scalp. That's the other thing. You know, you can actually normally scalp these things, even if it's a swing trade, because there's an earnings report. You and you know, there's a again, it's like crowd buying again. So, a lot of people will buy in because of the earnings. 
and often you can scalp first thing in the morning. So that's what I was doing. Uh, honestly, holding these things for you know what the, the data says and what they say is a better strategy in my opinion, but I tend to, to just scalp trade these things. So yeah, so that's the Whisper Reactors. Is Whisper Reactors, and I'll leave a link to this article in the description below so that you can guys can go and check this out, and then you can follow the links to all these different um, places where you can learn more about the Whisper number and about the service overall. So, all right, guys, well, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Uh, I'll keep updating all these articles on stock alert services and option services so that you don't get scammed by these companies. All right, thanks.